welcome back to my channel another video here today I have my monthly collected haul for the month of February it is relatively small comparatively which is what we're trying to do this year trying to save a little bit of money but I still got some cool stuff that I want to show you I also received a gift and I want to show you guys that let's get right into the haul and obviously the first thing I did in February which is like kind of the first thing I do every month is I shopped polish pickup I got three things two polishes and a top coat and I spent forty two dollars and sixteen cents so the first thing I got was the rogue lacquer flaky bomb right here and I will have like a much better shot of it here as well it is called aim high and it's like a white kind of gray curly base with flakies that they're like black and then there's these red to yellow there's even I think some green in there it's interesting I like rogue lacquers flakies they do a really good job like rogue cuticula uh polished for days those are like the top of my head when I think what's a great flaky bomb maker those three they knock it out of the park I also got the Danny Vienna which was the one I was like the most excited about and this one's called Picasso moth and again, I always say this, but she really takes the inspiration, condenses it down, and puts it in a 11 milliliter bottle. So if you don't know what a Picasso moth, a Picasso moth looks like, I will pop a picture up on the screen, and then I will show you this polish because I feel like it's spot on. We have these black bar glitters, some yellow and red hex glitters, there's some greenish... I think they're metallic, but I can't really tell because there's so much shimmer in this. But they're like triangles. There's a lot of shapes, a lot of colors. Uh, everything I need to keep my little baby brain focused and happy. So I really am excited to wear this one. And then I did pick up a top coat, which is not something I often do from Polish Pickup. I don't really buy anything outside of the nail polish for the most part. But this one was too tempting. This is the Vibrant Scents Fast and Hard Quick Dry Glossy Top Coat. It's half an ounce and it is honey bee. So I think it's supposed to be honey scented. And you know what? If it were any other day, I would probably open this up and just take a huge whiff because that's just who I am. But I can just tell that's gonna really make me feel like I'm gonna die. So uh, we're not gonna be sniffing any top coat today, um, but I'm sure that it smells wonderful. I haven't tried it yet. I'm excited to. I would love to paint my nails today, but I don't know if I can take it. I don't know if I can do it. But yeah, that order of three items plus shipping was $42.16, like I said. So that was my first purchase. On the fourth, I had set an alarm because I was like, I have to get these. And I saw a lot of hype for these. Um, this is the Forget Me Not Lacquer, You Crackle Me Up collection. It's I don't know why I'm holding it like this, but it's five piece collection. They're all crackle toppers, but they're very interesting. There's um, a hollow one and I will pop up the swatches that I took of these because I did do a video. I will put the review up in the cards if you want to go check that out. But yeah, we have the hollow topper, which this one has reflective glitter in it, I believe. We have a kind of light blue with silver type metallic flaky. We have Knee Slapper, which is my favorite. It's got blue and purple flakes in it, but over white, it looks like that. I, the cup is called Jazz. I looked it up. That cup from the 90s that, I don't know, everyone feels real nostalgic for lately. I keep seeing like shirts with the pattern across it. And I, I even showed Rob a picture of the swatch that I did without saying anything. And he was like, hey, that looks kind of like that cup. So I know I wasn't wrong there. Uh, this one is pink with some green to yellow shimmer in it. This one looks really good over dark colors. And then this one is also, I was very excited for this. This is a thermal and it's called Trickster and it goes from this kind of like tealy blue to a like, I don't know, would you call it like a dusty lavender? Really cool. All five of these are really cool. She's going to do a second release of like a second wave of this because it had quite a lot of demand and she's doing a part two which i will be partaking in for sure this brand is quite new to me i knew the person by their username but i didn't realize until i mentioned i was going to purchase these that 
she was the maker of this brand. And I was like, oh my God, I feel so out of the loop. I'm not paying attention apparently, but I'm really excited because I was like really excited about these five polishes specifically. But when I peeked around her website, she definitely has a lot of really fun toppers and just really cool stuff. She just came out with a St. Patrick's Day trio, which is super cute. The topper has um, little clovers in it. It's like very like rainbow fun, but then it has these little clovers in it. And the thing that I thought was really cool, which it's like, this is why I really enjoy shopping indie over mainstream for the most part. In her post, she was like, I only put like sparse, uh, clover glitters in it in each bottle because I want you to be able to wear this year round so it's like you kind of have to fish for the clover glitters however if you want more when you order it leave that in the note and I will add more to your bottle specifically and I'm like where can you get that kind of like super personalized customer service if not in an indie brand and I was just like that's such a cool and like I respect a lot of business owners who do that kind of like little touch and go out of their way because it's not easy. It takes a lot of extra time out of your day and you have to be more careful and like reading the orders and stuff. So I thought that was a really fun touch. So definitely check out Forget Me Not Lacquer if you haven't already because I'm already smitten and I'm only five bottles in. I feel like the lighting got a little dark so I'm gonna suffer through this really bright ring light just for you guys. Um, no, so that was the first release of the year that I was just like, gung-ho about like I was like you know you know how you get those releases where you're like yeah that looks cool I'm excited and then it kind of hits the back of your mind and you forget about it this was on the forefront of my mind until I got it in my hands because well and then and then some because I was like really really in love with it so that was kind of like my main focus prior er, purchase for the month and that cost me $73.31 for all five plus I think there was probably shipping involved in that after that I was kind of like ah not like feeling a lot of releases everything's spring everything is kind of like just not up my alley so I wasn't paying too much attention but then I saw on Instagram Glisten and Glow was having a sale I think it was like in honor of a football game <laughs> which I know literally nothing about don't ask me about sports I don't know but there was like a sale going on and I was like, well, I am out of my Glisten and Glow top coat and it is definitely my all time favorite top coat and I need more. So I took advantage of the sale and I bought the four ounce refill bottle, which is actually just, she sent two, two ounces. I don't know if she makes like a four ounce size or what, but I mean, I guess I still got four ounces, so it's not that big of a deal, but I just was like, why is there two in here? I was very confused. And then I read the bottom. Um, this is their quick dry top coat. I have had excellent luck with this. These, each individual bottle is two ounces. A bottle of their top coat is half an ounce. So in total, I have like eight full bottles of top coat here. I will go through that like a maniac, especially when it comes to like, because this is what I use in all of my swatch photos be because it's a refillable bottle. I just feel like it's so much nicer to have that consistency. And so uh, typically in all of my swatch photos, unless it's like a matte top coat or something like that, I'm using Glisten and Glow. I really like this polish or this topper. It dries down so fast. I don't find that I have any kind of shrinkage issues. I mean, I only wear manicures for a couple few days, so maybe over time, but I've never had that issue personally. And, um, yeah, I, it's, it's a quick dry top coat, so it does get gooey about halfway through your like half ounce bottle but I just keep topping it off and so it never gets gooey you know so I've never had an issue with this I really like it I highly recommend this cost I think I said $46.59 which when you hold these up and you're like yeah this cost me almost $50 it's kind of like absurd to think about but at the same time, it's so worth it because that's eight bottles of Topco. I won't have to worry about Topco for a while. On Valentine's Day, I came home and there was like a package on my doorstep. And I was just like, I'm not. I religiously check when my packages are supposed to get here. And I was like, I'm not expecting a package today. Um, it was a gift from Janixa from Nail Lacquer Therapy, which I did not expect. That was so nice. And it is the Hot Tamales Nail Polish. I think these were at Walmart. Um, my Walmart didn't have them because she actually messaged me about these and was like, hey, they have these. So I live really close to Walmart. I went over there, couldn't find them. Our cosmetic section in my Walmart is kind of like very meh. So 
I couldn't get them. I don't know where the next nearest Walmart is. I just kind of like put it out of my head. She bought them for me. I didn't even say anything to her that like I couldn't, I don't think I did. My brain's so fuzzy. But it was such a nice gift. And I was like, ah, oh, that's so cool. Cause you guys know me. I love a food themed nail polish. So these will definitely be a display type polish. I think that'll be really fun. Um, I just really like it. I think it's cute. I really like how they kind of are like conversation hearts. I don't know if you can see, like they all have different words on the front. So it says, I'm on fire, turn up the heat, hot stuff and smoking hot. So super cute. They're just pinks, reds and a gold. And so those will probably go on one of my shelves back here with all my other weird food themed stuff. And then the last thing is I didn't actually order this this month. I ordered this in like forever ago, but it shipped from Australia. This is my Femme Fatale order. So like they ship to a forwarder in the US and then the forwarder in the US ships to you. So it's like a, it's a process. Um, sorry, Stacy. I s me and Stacy ordered these together. And I was like, oh yeah, I need to send Stacy her stuff, but I'm so afraid of the post office and I haven't been feeling well. So Stacy, it's still here, but here it is. I um, So what did I get out of this box? Cause this isn't all mine. I got a Femme Fatale. Oh, I must've ordered this in December because one of these is the December color of the month. So it takes a little bit. Um, I got Spooky Fox from Femme Fatale which was their December color of the month. This is an X-Files themed polish and I'm an X-Files fanatic, so I had to have that. And then I ordered a couple Danny Vienna and then somehow I got like a gift with purchase. I didn't even know that was happening. So I ordered Black Tool. This one is a thermal. I know you guys, but it's black and it goes clear and I want to do some like peekaboo nail art. So I thought that would be fun with that one. And then I got yellow there because it <laughs> reminds me of my dad because he always answers the phone like yellow and it actually looks more green than yellow, uh, but it's a reflective and I just thought it would be fun. And Danny Vienna, first of all, I stand her, um, but she puts like really nice little stickers on all her bottles so that was for like reflective and then this one is a thermal so you can see there's like a little thermal like thermometer there so i really appreciate when makers do that because when you have a collection that's the size of stupid like mine is um you forget you just forget what you have and what does what and then this one was a gift with purchase according to the invoice yeah it says gwp uh, right under the Danny Viennas. Um, so it's called Chasing Rainbows and it's, it's a reflective. I haven't really even put a flash on this. So I don't know what colors I, I didn't even open half of these, you know, because I'm a mess. Yeah. It looks like it's like very rainbowy reflective glitter. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. I won't be able to like show it easily on camera, um, but yeah, it's like a rainbow reflective glitter and cute, cute. Now I'll show you what Stacy ordered just because it's right here and I need to open them to make sure they're okay. So she got Dawn Breaks the Dream from Femme Fatale. It's got a lot of glitters in there. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't even look. I just added what she said to add and ordered it and then she got two wildflowers so one is thankful 2.0 try not to damage the boxes as i open these so that she gets everything intact oh this one's really pretty um stacy i don't know if you're gonna get this one <laughs> it's like a blue metallic -y shimmer very pretty i love a blue and she got one called teeny weeny martini again from wildflower oh of course it's a green hollow glitter or not glitter just linear hollow should have known and then the last thing she got was from a dom nail polish what is this one called gtfo my uterus this one oh this is another cool blue so yeah i gotta just i feel like i'm just gonna put these back in the box and then close it and then seal it and then hand it to rob and be like rob will you go to the post office for me because he will so so I don't have to deal with the scary people. Oh, they sent a sticker too. I'm gonna ask Stacy if she wants a sticker because if she doesn't want the sticker, I want the sticker. That is everything. So in total, what did I spend in the month of February, the shortest month of the year? 
Okay, I spent $162.06 on nail polish, which is pretty good for me, but not like ideal with my current lifestyle, uh, which is weddings are stupidly expensive and I just don't understand why they're so expensive. Uh, so I'm trying to spend less on like day-to-day -day stuff I don't need so that I can contribute more to our wedding fund because I want to go on a cool honeymoon. So like... The wedding is already expensive, need honeymoon money. So if you had not noticed, I did skip polish pickup for March. It's March 1st as I'm filming this. I didn't film a wish list with me because I knew that I would get too tempted. Then I would see like, oh, well, I really like this one. So maybe I could just buy one, which would turn into two, which would turn into $50 that I shouldn't have spent. You know what I mean? So I was like, I don't even want to tempt myself. I know you guys will understand that. Um, it's not going to be every month, but I just needed like a month away from it. I haven't even looked, I haven't even looked at the website because I just don't even want to tempt myself. I don't want there to be like any kind of FOMO. So I'm just avoiding it for now. The Cirque Jellies release and, um, Polish for Days just released something today. And I'm just like, oh, I kind of want stuff from both, but I'm resisting because I just feel like I don't need it right now. I feel like what I should do is finish up my D stash before I really heavily buy anything else. Maybe I can sell some of those polishes and use that to buy new stuff. I don't know. That's all just kind of in the air. But for now, it's not that I can't afford nail polish. It's not that I don't want to buy nail polish. It's just that um, I feel like I should try to be an adult and, and spend my money where it needs to go. Well wedding isn't really a necessity either, but you know what I mean. It's just one of those things where out of me and Rob, the one who is fiscally responsible is me. And I feel like I have to double down right now because he's so bad at it. Um, he just got, he finally got his like holiday bonus this week. And I was like checking the accounts because I, you know, disperse all the money where it needs to go. And I asked him, I was like, Hey, you got your bonus. Is there, I wanted to let him have some input on how I dispersed it. I said, is there anything, how, how would you like to disperse this money? And he just responds back irresponsibly. And I was like, okay, never mind. You had your chance. So, um, he's gonna, he's gonna take some of it and do what he wants with it. But for the most part, we need to save, 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 because I don't know why I was like, yeah, we can save for a wedding in a year and booked a date a year out like that was that was dumb wasn't it uh anyways i made three purchases i received one gift this month that's pretty good um i don't know what march is gonna look like like i said i skipped polish pickup i might pick up a couple of those cirque jellies i'm not sure i want to look at the polish for days collection that just came out as well and kind of compare and contrast and decide like do i really want slash need any of these but yeah, let me know what you guys picked up in February. Let me know if any of you are doing a no buy or have gone on a low buy. Like, let me know any of your tips and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.